Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art. We got disconnected in the morning. We are working in the Coloring Studio, Somerset Studios, Coloring Studio Issue 3, and we are working with just crayons. 96 colors. Oh. So, we are trying all different kinds of methods and techniques and blendings. We even got out the blender log. <laughs> really, guys, nothing's really working any better than just the crayons. Um, yeah, I think so, too, uh, little P. So, <laughs> anyway, we did hit it with the heat gun to see if the melting of it would do anything to it. Um, and so now we are going to go back, and I'm going to go back in here with the blue and see if I can go on top here with a little bit darker blue. This is some kind of a butterfly painting or tattoo or something on her face. So um, we just, you know, put a little bit of color on, on that. And then this one right here is the gel. I have a couple in here that are called gel. Uh, let me see. I think my I might need to refocus the camera, guys. Hang on. Okay. I think that's good. Hey, LBO, DeMonte, anybody else? All right, so let's go back to the skin. Let's go ahead and go back to the skin. So we're going to go back to the mahogany color and start blending out. Blending into the peach. There's a layer of peach on her face. It's kind of hard to see. But I think we're going to go with darker skin because it just looks better. <laughs> it looks better. And again, the shadows back here under the hair. So if you're watching this on uh, recording, this is part two because we got accidentally somehow disconnected. I don't know how, but sometimes that happens. So we're back and working with just crayons. We're seeing what we can do with crayons. And again, guys, you know, I'm, I guess I'm just thinking to have high expectations to have it look just like color pencil with soft blending. But, you know, that my expectations are too high for Crayola. I mean, just because I love the way they smell and I buy a box just for sniffing doesn't mean that they're going to work like color pencils. I mean, that's why Crayola makes Crayola color pencils, <laughs> right? Which I need to get a set of those and test those for you guys, too. I mean, I think I have a set of the neons or something like that, but I don't have a full-on set of the Crayola pencils. And somebody did ask me to show, you know, some different kinds of supplies. Well, this is the first step in that. Middle of the blue is the body of the butterfly. Yeah, this right here. Let me darken it up for you, right here. This right here is the butterfly body, right here, maybe. And the wings are just attached back behind. You can't see them. I'm trying to get a prettier blue than I than I think is able to be achieved as well, but we're working it. We're working it, guys. All right, back to the mahogany. It's been a long time since I colored. Um, Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, but it's not it's not color pencils. Are you mean are you talking about the Crayola color pencils are not too bad? Yeah, I'll have to get some and test them out because they're not expensive and you can get them all, all day long with forty percent off coupons. You know, at Michael's Hobby Lobby, whatever. So I'm darkening up the mahogany areas now. I think I'm just going to have her have darker skin like this. I'm liking that. It's just looking more, I don't know, it's more dramatic. More dramatic color. And I know the color's not exact on the camera. When I look at the when I look at the screen, it's the colors are a little different. All right, let's put her some pretty. Let's do a nice dark maroon let's see 
and I'm just pulling out the colors here. I got a little test sheet over here that's too brown. I kind of want a dark maroony lipstick. Let's see. What's this one? This one is fuchsia. See that? That looks like maroon to me, right? <laughs> but it's fuchsia on the paper. Let's see. I want to go through all the colors one by one. Let's see what's this one. Red violet. See that the reds look are in the purple family. Let's test. Let's see what's this one. Maroon. See, I wouldn't have thought by the paper that that's maroon, but I don't know. The papers don't. Um, you finally got your Prismas. Oh, good. Good. And hi, Dreaming Still. Nice to meet you. Just bought the Crayola Color Pencils for a project. The colors are pretty good for cheap. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of... All right, back to the mahogany again. Again, I'm going to try to, let's see how lightly I can do this. See, can y'all see it? Barely. I'm I mean, I, I'm, it's like whispering on the paper. So light. But it still wants to make Crayola lines. No matter how light of a touch I have. All right. There we go. Go over the lips again to kind of just smooth them out. Clean that off so I don't pull red over into the skin here. And again, guys, I'm literally one inch from the paper, which you're seeing every little, which I want you to see every little line and texture that the color book is making. But when you, like even from the distance where I am, uh, my, where my face is from it, y'all are closer to it than I am. You're literally one inch from it. But here's the, how it looks from just the color book page. So if you're just looking at eye level, this is what it looks like. Okay, there's the page eye level. You can see how, look, her face is only as big as the color crayon. It's, this is smaller than it looks. It just looks huge because y'all are like literally one inch from her face. <laughs> so when, you, when you're coloring this and you're backed away from it, okay, now I'm going to take the peach again. I'm going to go with light peach and do like a full on, like go over the whole thing and see if I can just blend it a little bit. Thanks, dreaming, dreaming um, still. Appreciate that. Now I'm going to just take the lightest peach. What's it called? A apricot. And I'm going to just try to do a full-on blend over the whole face. You know, kind of just blend out the whole thing. But again, guys, I know it looks like, oh, look at all that texture, and that's not blending. But you are like one inch from it. And it's only that big. What, how big is a crayon? Three inches? So I'm just saying that so that you'll know when you think, oh, I don't want to color with color crayons because it's, look at all that texture. It doesn't blend. Well, it's blending really better than you think if you're at eye level. But you guys are like right up on her. So you can see how it's blending out now a little more with just a coat of apricot. But the more I blend, the waxier, so you can almost scrape it off. It's getting really built up. You, you know, you can't, it's only so many layers you can add to the crayon. Okay. Thanks, guys.
so I'm kind of going another direction than the initial color almost like a cross hatching to keep the wax smoothed out as much as possible but I'm not bearing down I'm still got a very light touch lots of the, the lighter the touch the more layers are going to get in it and of course the face always takes the longest because you know you want to blend out the skin really nice So there, this is what it looks like from far away. I'm not loving that butterfly on her face. I just don't, you know, it almost needs, I almost want to outline it to make it real dramatic. I want it outlined like this. I think I'm going to outline it. I don't like those little dotted lines on her face. I just don't like the dotted lines. Can you see all the little dotted lines? I just don't like the dotted lines, though. Let's see if I can get rid of them with a... Hmm, I, almost have, I think I'm going to have to outline it with black. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the dotted lines on her face. That's just me. I think if I make them darker, I might like them better, but okay, let's go with the dark green. Let's see what color this one is. Pine green. Let's see if I can get some butterfly. Like the wing lines, you know. I like that a little better. It looks more like you can tell it's a butterfly, you know. But it goes right up over her nose. The wings do. But again, let's look at it from back here. <laughs> All right, let's keep, let's move on. I might come back to her face in a little bit. Let's, the butterfly is going to throw me if I'm not careful. It's going to distract me. Okay, so let's move on to the stars and the background. I need a dark blue. All right, let's see what I want to do here. I've got to, I've got to pick color, every color. See that look, in the case it looks blue and it's purple. Let's see what this one is. That's blue green. I got my little test sheet over here. That's not, I want like an indigo. I want a dark, like maroon blue. I mean, a maroon blue. Black. A dark navy blue. That's kind of probably it says no, these are all purples in here. What's the blues? See this? The, I don't like the way the wrappers, that's called Pacific Blue, and it's wrapped in a purple wrapper. Look, that is nowhere near the color of that. Look. Look. That's purple. That's, that's not anywhere near the color of the wrapper. Did my wrappers fade over the years? <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. This says cornflower blue. Look. Okay. I'm, getting, I'm having to read every single one. Denim. It has the same purple cover. But this is the color I'm looking for. A dark blue. But it, look, it's a purple wrapper. 
I'm going to read y'all every color in a minute. All right, let's see if I can even find a darker blue. Midnight blue. Look, look, all the wrappers are the same color. They must have faded, guys. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they faded. I want midnight blue because that's purple cover, too. They're all the covers are purple. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go with Midnight Blue. And what I want to do is I want the background behind all these stars to be Midnight Blue. All right, so let's see. Now, this these stars right here are on. Let's see. i got to decide what's going on here. There's her hair. There's something. I don't know if that's like a cap on her head. Right there, is, the line right here is, let me just put a little yellow there just so I can, a goldenrod color, like yellow ochre. On the, on the moon here, where the shadow is, so I don't lose where I'm going. Here and here. And then it, it turns into her hair, it looks like. The moon kind of turns into her hair. So her hair's back in there. But it looks like, you know, where the stars are, behind the stars, I want it to be midnight blue, which I have to really look at these colors now because it looks purple. Crayola ran out of money for each tiny wrappers. <laughs> I'm going to have to color swatch. I'm going to color swatch. We're going to do that. We're going to color swatch the crayons. All right, so what I want to do now, i got to get right up on here for you guys is I want the background, and again, don't be thrown off by the purple wrapper. This is midnight blue, not anything like the wrapper color. And I'm I'm twisting the <laughs> I'm twisting it to get to the sharp end. Paula noticed that she goes, Dee Dee, do you notice how often you twist your colors, your color pencils? And I never noticed until Paula said something. But every time I do a section, I automatically just twist. Like twist the, turn it, turn the pencil. And I see I'm doing the same thing with the color. Because what I'm doing is I'm turning it to a sharper point. So like I, I'm, I'm wearing down that, so I want to twist it over and get to a sharper point. And I do that automatically with uh, color pencils too. I don't even think about it. I never even noticed it until Paula pointed it out. The Crayola pencils work with Gamasol too. Okay, that's I guess that's good to know for somebody that uses I again I don't like adding anything wet, any oils to my um, pencil work. And of course now we're we're just using crayons just to test them out. But it's really throwing me off to be coloring blue with a purple wrapper. I'm thinking maybe the maybe the uh, things faded. That's all. That's all I can think of. The wrappers faded over the years because this box is a few years old, guys. You know, and I'm sure they use the cheapest paper they can print on to do these wrappers. And again, I'm not trying to do any blending or shading on this dark, dark blue. I don't think I'm just going to color it in. We're going to be here all day coloring one page. We're going to spend more time coloring a page with Crayolas than we do with pencils. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm just kind of see some of our hairs coming up that away. Trying to find any areas that might still be the back. Guy, that's his face right there. Get right behind that eye, right in here, and that star.
So in this dark blue area, I am pushing down to get a nice dark color because I'm not going to do any blending in here. If you want to do any blending, then you know you need light layers like this. But I'm not doing any layers in here. I'm just solid dark blue. Solid dark blue back there. All right. Let's keep moving down the side of the face. Another week's gone by, Terry. You can't believe another week's gone. Oh, it goes by fast, doesn't it? Time flies. Sure does. Okay, I think that one color that dark blue there. Let's just go ahead and do that whole thing, that area. But we want to have fun with our crayons. I mean, I know I'm kind of like over and analyzing the Crayola process. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm just like anal over analyzing every little tiny wax buildup. <laughs> so we got a little wax buildup right here. Okay, then this part, I think, you know what, it's almost like the shadow of the moon. The other, like a part of a, I'm not sure what it is, if it's part of her hat or what. I think this needs to be a different color because that's part of the chin of the moon. Even though it's dark up here, I think this part needs to be the dark blue now. So I think I'm going to put this as part of the moon. See, because it has a point on it right there. And her hair is going to kind of flow also. Her hat, her hair, and all that's going to flow together. So now I'm going to move over here to this part to do blue. Debbie sniffed all the colors out of the wrappers. Hi, <laughs> Debbie. I sniffed all the, okay. I sniffed all the, the color out of the wrappers with all the sniffing. That could be. I love me some color, color crayon sniffing. But all the wrappers that are blue, the, I mean the colors that say blue, all the per, they all look exactly the same color of wrapper. So I'm thinking that they've just faded, guys, over the years. You know, I'm thinking they just faded. What did Jean say? <laughs> and you know, they aren't as pointy, even though I'm twisting them. Okay, so this says when the moon is not full, the stars shine more brightly. Or, yeah, when the moon is not full, the stars shine more brightly, is what the little quote says there. Now, I don't want to bear down on over the quote, because we'll obviously lose it. So, let's see. Let's go up here at the top. Let's see how I want to go over the words. Do I just want to do a lighter version, like just really light, light, light? That's probably the best thing. And then darken it around. Because we're going to lose those words if I'm not careful. With the dark blue. Get the dark blue in between here. And then just a light blend over the top very lightly. See what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Vern? We're going to lose the words if we're not careful. But I want the dark to come down through the middle here. And around the stars. So we'll just go over more lightly. Okay. 
I almost want dark blue. Hmm. Oh, no, that would probably be best to be yellow. I like the glow around her face. To be yellow. What do y'all think? I don't know. Because we committed to the blue around the stars, so now we gotta we gotta go with it. Gotta go with it now. <laughs> Your name is Rose. Oh, nice to nice to meet you, Rose. I need some coffee, guys. I really do. I think I have to make some too. Yeah, throw um, having the video stop like 30 minutes in or what? It maybe it was an hour, so I'm not sure how long we went before it knocked us off the air. Anyway, it's hard to it's hard to read. It's a little hard to read with the blue over it. Know what I mean, Vern? I'm trying to keep it as light as I can. See, again, this is what it really looks like. I really want this to be darker blue, but if I if I do it any darker, we'll lose the words. So I'm just trying to stay in between as best I can. But anyway, it's fun, guys. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you guys are, but I am. All right, so all right, I'm gonna sit. Oh, and then up here, I think this is what I want to do in the background too. Let's go ahead and do this little area real quick. See, the page wants to, I need to put something. Hang on, guys. I need to put something behind the book so I have some something to put pressure on. Let me get another color book. Um, something that's about the same size to put underneath of it. Let's move this out of the way. I only have one hand here. Okay, there we go. Now, should have done that earlier. So now I have, you know, the, a book behind it, so I have pressure. I can um, put pressure on it without it sinking down to the table. Do this little area of background. I'm going to just run downstairs and get coffee. If you're watching the recording and you see me run down and get coffee, just fast forward. Just fast forward. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to fade this out. So let's just kind of, because I don't want to color the whole background. I just want to kind of fade it out. So let's go ahead and gosh, it's so hard to get in those little points. Even if I sharpen this crayon, it's not going to get that nice point that my color pencils get. That's probably why I moved to color pencils from crayons. <laughs> the detail. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So you can see. We got so far. And so now what I'm going to do when I come back is we're going to start feathering out, blending out this. We're going to feather it out as nice and soft as we can all the way around this. See how I'm doing that? Lightly blending it.
So it's been so long since I colored with crayons. It's really nice, you know, just to do something a little different. And again, remember, we're right up on it. Look, this is what it looks like at eye level. Okay, guys, let me run down and get some coffee. I'll just leave it right here for you. You like it so far? Hey, Colleen. Yeah, we're just using our 96 box. And again, guys, I guess it's just because of the age of the crayons that every let me let me just show you real quick i'm gonna pick out all the blues and i'll tell you the names of them and look at the, the paper wrappers i just think that they're so old i mean they're only a couple years old but even so okay so this right here is our midnight blue that's what we're using now look here's all the blues look <laughs> they all look purple for one thing but they're all exactly the same color wrapper these are all the blues. So like this is cornflower blue, Pacific blue, blue, denim, indigo blue. Is that indigo? Oh no, navy blue. Let me test that one too. Yeah, navy blue. This, mid, this one's the darkest one so far, our midnight blue. And then this one is cerulean. Look at them. Just looking at them, you can't tell a difference between any of them. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so I'm thinking, guys, that because the age of the box of the crayons, that they've just faded. You know what? Let me check the one that um, Sister Woman gave me. Now, that one's also probably going on a couple years old. The smaller box, let's see. This is the box that Sister Woman gave me, the emergency, the travel emergency crayon sniff box. In case, you know, you can't take your 96 crayons with you and you need an emergency sniff. <laughs> They're not faded. Your new ones were the same, Heather. They're all purple. Yeah. So I'm going to just, just look at this and just see if, you know, if it's the same dealio in, the, uh, in another box. Look. Let's see what this one is. Cerulean. Indigo. So it is the same. They're purple in here, too. Yeah. Now, of course, I don't have as many selection. I only have two blues in here. Three blues. Here's a blue, I think, down here. Yeah, they're all purple. They're all purple as well. Yeah, yeah, you can't tell a taller to pick a blue. They're going to go, what? Well, my blue would. Anyway, she go, She said, none of those are, none of those are blue, Nana. And where's my Eileen's tacky? <laughs> Let me go grab some coffee, guys.
Okay, I had to make fresh coffee, so that means I had to get some cranberry juice to drink. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, you definitely have to have a test sheet of your swatches to tell what color is what. I think we'll do that after this page. We'll see how much time we have, guys, because I'm, I'm not crack a lacking on this, am I? I'm not exactly crack a lacking. So again, thanks everybody for being here. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for being here as well. I just kind of want, I think I just want this to kind of fade around the edge. Yeah, but that'll throw you off your game. If you can't tell what color, you're getting Crayola Rage every time you pick up a blue. It's a purple wrapper. I know, right? <laughs> Heather. Oh, and, and Heather, put your link in there. If y'all don't know, Heather is Bunny on Ustream and I think on YouTube too. But she does, she's doing, an, an, she's working in the... Um, Fantique, I think it's how you pronounce it. She's doing watercolors and she's doing an awesome job taking her time and doing uh, some awesome watercolors in a color book. So, Heather, if you want to put your link in there, what did Terry Trouble say? <laughs> yeah, I would say so, Terry. Um, yeah, so Heather just started streaming. I'm not sure how long she's been streaming, not that long. But she does awesome, beautiful work. And she has that beautiful British accent that, you know, lulls us all. Lulls us all into tranquility. Carrie's got one of those voices, too. Although, K Terry, uh, Carrie is uh, American and Canadian. But she just has one of those soothing Ustream voices. Uh, she doesn't have a British accent, but what I'm saying is Heather has that kind of effect, too. She has that soothing voice. You might update my street name. Your street name, Carol? You're changing your name, Carol? I, I'm sorry. I totally have no idea what you're saying. So sorry. You got, you know, I, I know I miss a lot of the chat, guys, so, you know. <laughs> you do, Carrie. You have a very soothing voice on stream. So I'm just lightly kind of going around here, getting the background kind of shaded in a little. I know. Yeah, put your link in there, Heather, or at least if you don't know, if you can't link it, direct link, then tell everybody your exact name, your exact name on Eastern, because I don't have it right. I know it's Bunny's Designs or something like that. If you'll, it, I'll repeat it if you uh, type it in for me, the name, and you also can put the link for everybody else if you want. Yeah, I've been to a couple of her shows. She does awesome work, guys. And she has a cool, and I know everybody's going to want the link to your place now when I say this. She has made an awesome watercolor book. of, And what I mean by a watercolor book, I mean a book of watercolors. Where she's taken her watercolors. I can't remember all the brands she uses. But you know how a Peerless has little, like, sheets? Like, you know, Peerless little, little, um... I want to say slabs, not slabs, or little paper tabs of watercolors. Well, she's kind of done that with all her watercolors. If you want me to change your address, Carol, you'll have to email me, okay? Email me your new address. If you, if you changed your address, oh, there's a spider or a bug. <gasps> Dead meat. I killed it with a box of Crayolas. There's a little bug. 
must have been he must have been living in this box of crayons crayolas all this time it's just a tiny little looked like a little spot mini spider it wasn't anything big oh if it would have been big i would have we would have face planted trippy by now <laughs> We would have face planted Trippy by now if it was a big bug. Um, so anyway, um, Heather, i.e. Bunny uh, Designs, has uh, she's made her a little book, and she flips through it. It kind of looks like what a peerless are, you know, on little flat pieces of paper, and she's put her watercolor on little book in a little book so that she is easily able to get to her watercolor little palettes easily um yeah thanks mountain dreamer teresa could you put her name on there because i don't want to change your address teresa <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, she has a video on. Well, I was trying to get to until that little spider ran across. Is she'll she ha she has a video on her little book. So you can see, I'm just kind of trying to get a nice, you know, fade out on the edge here of the background. Because I don't want to color the whole thing solid blue. I just want to fade it out a little. I'm going to quit moving trippy. Hang on, let me set it. Okay, thanks, Teresa. Appreciate it. Maybe the spider was sniffing the crayons. Just kind of want to, you know, get around the edge there. That's pretty good. We're taking way much longer to color this than I would if I was just coloring it by myself. Because I want it to be good for you guys. So there we go. That's what it looks like so far. I think it needs a little darker right here in this little bit where it kind of turns a corner. Oops. Right here. I'll tell you all a spider story. Uh, we were living in, let's see, where were we living this time? Was it Alaska or Alabama? Anyway, Harpster had to go out of town. And uh, me and the girls were home. And I swear it was a wolf spider. I don't know. I can't, you know, I don't know for sure because this is what happened. So I saw a, look like a giant, I mean, the spider looked this big to me. This big. It was a big, I had to be a wolf spider. It wasn't a tarantula. You know, it wasn't a tarantula, but it, it had to be a wolf spider. I think it was in Alabama. And he was going to be gone for like three days. <laughs> the first day he was gone, in my bedroom, I saw that big spider. I went and got a can of bug spray sprayed it and while I was spraying it it ran under my bed no joke it ran under my bed as I sprayed it so I did like any other normal lady would do you close the bedroom door you put towels under the crack of the door and you don't go in there for three days Three days later, Hubster comes home and says, "What? Well, what's going on with the towel under the bedroom door? I said, and I told him the story. I said, a spider this big, I sprayed it and it ran under the bed. 
He went, oh, good grief. So he moves the towel, opens the door, goes in there, moves the bed out. And he goes, you mean this? And he came, had me come in the bedroom and point to it. It had curled up, shriveled up, dried up, and was about that big. <laughs> he said, you mean that tarantula? <laughs> I went, but, 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 but. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Now, you're talking to a woman here who, before that, I've been stung by scorpions. I'm allergic to bees. So, I'll tell you the scorpion story, too. I, I don't know how we got onto this. But, anyway, we'll tell the story. Oh, yeah, because that spider ran across my desk. <laughs> so, anyway, this is when we were living in Texas. When we were living in Texas, we had just got a house. And... Um, you know, if you've ever vacated, if there's ever an empty house, it was a new house, but it was, you know, it was empty. So when we moved into it, um, you remember now, when in the military, you you're, you get there way before your stuff does, right? <laughs> so we had, uh, we didn't have any beds or anything. We had some sleeping bags. We had the girls there. We had, uh, no, no, let's see, I take that back because we did have the bed by this time. Well, first off, when we moved into the house, I'll tell you, I'll backstory it. When we moved into the house, um, it was empty, and we all slept on the floor. And all night long, everybody the next day said, I kept hearing scurrying, like, you know. And everybody said, well, they kept hearing this all night long. Well, we didn't know what it was. Well, after this incident, incident happened, we kind of figured what it was. I'm just going to keep going around the edge here, guys. Um, so, after we got the beds and everything, I can't remember how long later it was. Let me get back up here on here. Um, we're in bed, and uh, all of a sudden, I felt like a hot match. Like, you know when you blow out a match, how hot that ember is? It felt like a hot match had stuck on my neck. I mean, I literally jumped up out of bed. And what had happened, well, when I jumped out of bed, not only did I jump up, but I sat on it. <laughs> so I got stung twice. A scorpion had dropped off the ceiling in the bed, stung me on the neck, and when I jumped up, I sat on it. So I got stung twice. The second one wasn't as bad because I guess most of the stinger was in my neck. So, <laughs> yeah, that spray on that spider worked, going. So, anyway, so, anyway, I'd never been stung by it. It hurt. I mean, it hurt. It was just a little scorpion, just like that big. It wasn't one of those deadly ones, you know. However, because I'm allergic to bees, I said, oh, my gosh, you know, is a scorpion, you know, what, what's the poison in the scorpion ratio to a bee sting? You know, I mean, is it like a bee sting? Is it the same stuff as a bee sting? I didn't know. And I still don't. So if you ever get stung by a scorpion, don't take this story as gospel, right? Don't don't go by my story about what you should do if you get stung by a scorpion. Just saying. So, um, so anyway, I felt, and it could have been, you know, part of it could have been psychosomatic, you know, thinking I'm allergic to bees, so my throat's starting to close up. Or, you know, it could have just been in my head, and I was like, you know, I don't know, but I started feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, it started worrying on me because I'm allergic to bees. So, but he said, a Hubster said, well, maybe we should take you to the emergency room because we don't, neither one of us, well, this was way before the internet, people. This was like, there was not even 911. Okay, we're talking like in the 80s here, right? This is way back, guys, way back. And uh, like 1981, 82. It was before we went to Alaska. We went to Alaska in 83, so it was before that. So we didn't have, you know, you didn't have internet or stuff just to go look it up. You couldn't just go Google it and say, you know, is bee stings the same as, as a scorpion sting? And to this day, I still don't know. <laughs> ants are, yeah, now we have fire ants here in uh, Georgia. So, yeah, you do got to watch out for the fire ants here. But anyway, um, so I went to the emergency room. Um, 
And they said, well, what happened? I said, well, I got stung by a scorpion. They, hand, they stuck an ice pack on my neck and said, that'll be $50. <laughs> that was it. That was all they did. <laughs> I said, but I'm allergic to bees. Okay, well, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> so anyway, there's my uh, scorpion story. Oh, <laughs> yeah, BTW, before the web. I like that, Terry. I'm writing that down. BTW, before the web. <laughs> Terry, you're on a roll today. Again, Terry Trouble. We'll put this in the wing nut book. I'll have to put it on a post-it note. I just grabbed this little... <laughs> So again, guys, I don't know what the procedure is for if you get stung by a, is that the same blue? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you get stung by a, a scorpion, don't just throw an ice pack on it if you're allergic to other things. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, Bonnie. <laughs> so, yeah. See what happens when a spider runs across your desk? Okay, I need to stop on the background here because y'all are going to get like, okay, let's move on. Let's move on to something else. We're tired of seeing the background. So this is what it looks like, though, from like eye level, guys. And again, it's flashing out a little. I need to, the sun has come through. I need to readjust my camera setting. Hang on here. Got a little flashed out. I don't know that that's much better. There we go. That's better. I just got to keep readjusting the light, but there you go. That's the truer color right there. Yeah, so I, anyway, <laughs> I made you laugh a few times. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do the moon. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, it's called goldenrod. It's kind of like a yellowy, ochre, mustardy color, and I'm going to do all the shadows on the moon because I'm going to do him like, uh, and her, and her hair here. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm wondering, hmm, I'm wondering if, well, let me just go ahead and do the golden rod in some of the shadows. We can always go back and shadow it even more. I thought about doing blue back there, but I think I'll just do all of her. Whoops, sorry, guys. I'm going to get back up here on the, stay on the job. Thanks, Judy Patootie. I got to really stay on the job here, guys. Get those stories going and and then down here around her face again all these little dotted um, stippling i.e. pointillism <laughs> all this little pointillism I'm going to just do that as a shadow with the yellow ochre too I want to be careful not touch her lips because I'll be pulling up oh, see I did I got the red right there got to be careful when you go up against another color that you don't drag that color this isn't even dark enough yellow for me I, you don't know how much I want to get out my paints guys I want to get out my paint so bad maybe we after we color it we could paint over it <laughs> okay so right now I'm just going to here and all the but I'm gonna I'm gonna move over I'm gonna move along a little quicker here guys I am going to move along a little quicker. I'm going to try not to move you so much. Let's see if I can set you down right about there. Okay. I'm going to move along. And there's some blue right there, too. I don't know if I can erase it. Where's my Ticonderoga black? Let's see. Are you going to come to the rescue for me? Let's see if I can get rid of that little excess blue that's on the yellow. Just so I'm not smearing it into a green. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, you itchy. <laughs> uh, and then again, on this moon... There's like little, it's kind of like Swiss cheese look. <laughs> I'm sure she did that on purpose, right? 
So I'm going to do those, and I'll go back in and shade it even darker. Right now I'm just trying to get a kind of a base coat going on here. And I'm going to move along now. I'm going to like really get crack a lack in here. And I am planning on, I don't know if I'll get to it this weekend, maybe by next week. I'm going to try to get my animal posters on Society6 at least for cell phone cases. Again, I, you know, I'll, I'll show you when we get done with this. What, how I'm kind of, I'm going to have dark yellow lips. He's going to be all shades of yellow here. Um, I think there'll be some cool cell phone cases in sections. I'll show you a poster and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so back behind this one again. Hang on. It's the hopster. Hey, still streaming. Yeah, I just got finished telling the scorpion story. And I told the wolf spider. The wolf spider that you uh, came home to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs> He's going, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that old wolf spider. <laughs> yeah, just trying to change the subject. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, cell phone uh, covers. I want my um, animals, I think, would look cool. I mean, they could be other things, too, because Society6, you can pick what you want it to be turned into. All right, so let me just, uh, I mean, it could be a print. It could be, you know, whatever. But Okay, here's another one up here. And let's see right in here. All right, so let me get back into her hair here a little bit. Because I'm going to put a couple of shades of uh, yellow in here. Okay. I don't know what color. Maybe black. Black might be good in the background. Like right behind all this. Behind the, the I'm not sure. It's not roses. They're lilies. Looks like a lily. Of course, we can color them any color we want. You know, they don't have to be like, they can be whatever. But the background, see how it's got a like a little border around it? That might be black. Oh, is today Carol's birthday? Happy birthday, Carol. Once I send the cards out, guys, <laughs> forget your birthdays once the cards are out. I have to be reminded by somebody else. Once the cards are out. <laughs> Oh, I need some coffee. Oh, let me drink some juice. Anyway, all right, let me show you real quick one one animal poster that I made. Let's see. Like, for instance, let's see. Okay, here's a good one. So, I did this red fox a while back. Y'all seen the poster. Well, I tweaked him. And I added some earbuds. <laughs> I added earbuds to him. So anyway, what I'm thinking that like just this part, like right here, like right there would be a good cell phone cover. So I'm gonna do some tests. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to print out a couple in in that size, like the size of my cell phone. So here's the back of my cell phone. I have a business card. And that's a tip for you guys. Put a business card inside your cell phone case, even if it's not clear. But that would be a way, if you ever lost your cell phone, somebody might think about looking at. But anyway, so I'm going to print some out this size just to test it out. So, yeah. So I'm thinking that that would be a good cell phone. It's flashed out, guys. Sorry. You know, we're moving in and out. 
but let's turn it up that way. So yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Look! I put earbuds in them. I couldn't resist. But I have a whole bunch of these kind of things. So I'm going to put them on Society 6. <laughs> you want one for your 7 plus? Yeah, Terry. Well, Terry, I'm going to do... I think I'm not going... The only one I'm not going to do is this one. Because this is my own personal business card. You know, um, my... Uh, this one here. And the, the, my business cards. My headers. Um, you know, my YouTube header, all my channels, everything. This is the, the, my, like my logo. So I'm not probably going to turn him into one just because it's like my personal one. But yeah, I know. So I have, I think I have 10. I think I have 10 of them that I could do to, you know, turn into Society 6 for whatever. Okay, so let's get back to this. Thanks, guys. Yes. Yeah, so Terry's got her seven coming. She's got, now I don't know if Society 6 makes sevens yet. I'm not sure of the size, um, the dimensions on a seven. I've not seen one in person, so I'm not sure of the exact size. I have a 6P. Yeah, I have the P, the plus. Me and Boo. Me and Boo have the plus. Okay. Okay, Ticonderoga to the rescue. <laughs> Again, God, sorry, I flashed you out again by moving. Let's get crack on with them here. Let's fix this. Oops, that's too dark. Hang on, guys. It's too light. There we go. See, I've, I've messed up my lighting now by, by backing in and out with the thing. Yeah, I don't know what choices they have. I just know they do cell phone covers. Yours is going to be the plus two, the seven P. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure on the size, you know, the dimensions. They change them every time, of course, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's get back to, I need, a, I want another light. Let's see, I'm going to want... I think I could just use that as the main yellow if I go with something like that's I don't want gold, but I want something kind of that color. Let's see, let's look at this one. This is tumbleweed. Let's test tumbleweed out here. Yeah, see I just want a little bit of shadow for the yellow. I don't want to go orange. What's that one's pink? Okay, so I don't want to go orange. I'm you know, I'm looking in the yellow ochre family. So let's test this out, like on the lips here. That's not going to be dark enough. Okay, let's go with a light brown. What's this? Oh, we got another metallic. Oh my gosh, we need to go through this box together. We need to go through the box together. Copper, I'm picking up all the... Didn't I have a sienna here? Maybe even a light... Yeah, there we go. We'll go back to the mahogany as a shade. Very, just, just that'll be just enough shadow see on the lips here and I want them around I want it around those dotted like a little shadow in the we'll just do a half moon I gotta get some pressure there do like a half moon in each of these circles Like that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. There's no no earbuds with the seven you have to use Bluetooth? Okay, I did not know that. I don't know if that's good or bad. Is that good or bad?
Yeah, earbuds will be a be a um, collector's item because nobody will have them anymore, right? <laughs> okay, so again, on all the areas here that have the the little stippling as for shadows, I'm just going over it to make it just even a little darker. I can't believe we've gone over an hour on this part, and we had another 30 minutes before this. We are taking way too long on a color book page, guys. Way too long on a color book page. I mean, with Crayolas, right? Well, maybe not. Who knows? You know, it's all fun. It's all fun. Okay, let's do a little shadow up here. But the light keeps flickering in and out because of the sun going in and out of the clouds. I think I want to go a little bit more. So you can kind of see here. All right, let's just keep keep on moving. You don't need to look up the specs on it. I'm not going to get one, at least not right away, because I love my 6P. I've had it for two years. Still, still love it. Not changing it unless, you know, if I ever had to, of course, sometimes you have to, but I don't have, I'm not doing it because it's something, just because it's new. I'm not saying Terry is either. I'm just saying, you know, but I do need to read, I just haven't had time to read anything about it. Okay, let's do a little shed on us. I'm here. Around the nose. So I'm going to come in here with yellow. Maybe just the tiniest bit. Let's see if I want to go all the way around these circles and then just have it darker on the back side like that. Yeah, I like that. Hope y'all can see, guys. It got a little dark again. I'm still using the iPhone 5C. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Never, I don't know if anybody in the family went to the fives. I think most of us went from jump from fours, the 4S, right into the sixes. <laughs> I think we skipped the five generation. <laughs> I don't remember, guys. Uh, as long as I got my phone that works, that's, you know, I don't keep up with it. Okay, I want a little bit of shadow behind these stars. Just to give it a little bit of depth, you know, like that. That just makes, adds a little something. On the yellow stars here. Don't get messy now. Let's stay with the program. Stay with the tour. <laughs> Thanks, Vicki S. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with the um, goldenrod again. Oh, no, 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 no. i got to go back in here with the hair. The hair has to have all these colors in it, too. I'm going to do a couple shades of little eyes poking out there. Put that yellow right in there.
I do have, I know Kelly doesn't like me to say when she sends me something because she just doesn't like me to, you know, when she sends something, she, you don't have to tell them I sent it. But there's a book, she says it's on the way, so we'll be playing in it when it gets here. On, on a, it's a collage project book. That's all I'm going to say right now. Well, I guess I could show you the picture. I have the picture in my phone. And I think it just might be fun to do some little collage projects in it. Although y'all know what kind of collage I do. I do the, you know, the mixed media, you know, storytelling, in-depth collage. That's, this book is, as far as I can tell, not like that. It's not that in-depth. But she said, well, it should be there. Y'all can play with, you know, play do something in it. So I'll show you the picture. of. I don't have anything on the inside. It may be on Amazon, um, pictures on the inside, so y'all can go look at it if you want. Okay, so you see how I've done a little bit of the yellow and the brown? Now I'm going to go back with the yellow and finish in all these areas on top of the sienna color. It's called mahogany. So I'm just kind of doing a, a sienna and blonde hair. So I'm trying to tie the moon. So I'm trying to tie the moon into her hair. It's like the moon is engulfing her, and she can be turning, you know, I don't want to say turning into a moon, but maybe. So I'll show you the picture of that book. Oh, thanks, Terry said, I do, Dee Dee does the awesome collage. But it's, I don't think it's that in depth. It's just more, I think, you know, again, I can't tell from the cover and I did see it some time ago in the bookstore I think it's new but I can't remember the like the projects exactly in it so when we get it we'll have to maybe do something with it all right so I'm just going over all and I'm not I'm not smashing down but I gotta say I'm hurrying I'm not really trying to blend now I'm just trying to cover <laughs> I'm just trying to get these areas covered and then I can go back in here with a little bit of the mahogany color again and tweak it. Like that. Hey Carla. So there you can see so far, and it needs a little bit more shadow, like right under, so I don't know if that's like going to be, the sky is her hat, I don't want a little bit of shadow right along there, kind of eyeballing where I want some more shadows. So you can see. Okay. Maybe a little bit more under there. As many as I can add. Like that. Alright, I need peach on her eyelid here. I need a little bit. It's too stark. Let's go back with a little more mahogany. And I think that's supposed to be like her eyebrow right there. Again, the dotted lines are kind of throwing me off. Okay. All right, so let's get back over here to the sun. I mean the sun. The moon. And, and uh, making him look like Swiss cheese. Because that's the way we roll. <laughs> All right, so now I just want to make sure there's no brown on there. I just want to put a light, light yellow over the whole thing, very lightly, almost white. You know, I want them almost not, just very, very light. coat of yellow over the whole face. Yep, we're working with crayons. 
Crayola crayons. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you this down here. And we spent a lot of time, I mean, probably more time than, you know. <laughs> but. So this is what it looks like at eye level, guys. Alright, now this needs to be yellow in here. A light, light yellow. Again, I got a couple little smears of wax. But <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Yeah, something different. We have not colored with crayons at, up to this point. Now, see where I got some blue on there? I'm going to try to get as much of that off I can with my uh, Ticonderoga black because I don't want to have a, like a green streak there from where the yellow touches the blue. And I just want a nice light coat of yellow over the whole moon. Very lightly. You may not even hardly be able to tell. And we're just using, you know, we're just using mark, I mean, um, crayons. We could probably do other things in here with paint and all that, but we're just kind of just sticking with the, kind of just sticking with the crayons just to see what, what we can accomplish with Crayola crayons. Just moving down. Still have the flowers to do, guys. Uh, I'm only going to stay about 30 more minutes. So whatever we get done in 30 minutes, we're not obviously we're not getting down to the color chart, the Crayola color chart today. Okay, so there we go. And again, now I need black because I wanted um, I wanted the background to be, you know, in these squares. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a nice solid black background in the corners. This kind of reminds me of. Uh, how I'm going to do my Inktober. My Inktober are going to be in little, oh, not ovals, but little rounded rectangles. I'm going to do all my Inktober inking on a big page within a little square, well, rectangle. Okay. Like that. Say, now they don't have one there, so, but they do have it down here. Probably not the wisest thing to do the background black before I do those flowers. Because <laughs> then I'm going to have to really be careful to avoid touching the black background because I'll be smearing it. But I'm trying to get as much done as I can. Oh, I need some dark blue in there. I'm trying to get as much done. Okay, so the square comes down here. Or the rectangle, rather. Thanks, Iffy, and good morning, by the way, if I miss saying hi to you and anybody else has popped in. Thanks for joining us here. <laughs> we call her with crayons. But hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know, it's one of my favorite videos, I swear. I never understood why people like cat videos so much till I saw that one. <laughs> till I saw the hay. Let's 
So I need to get some coffee though. Let's see. Let me do this black. I'm going to run and get some coffee and I'll show you that book. Oh, sorry. I've got on there now. Try to scrape some of it off. I've got a little bit up on my moon. See right there? I don't know if I can get my Ticonderoga to the rescue. Not that it really matters, guys, but I'm just seeing what we can and can't do. Ticonderoga is working pretty good for a color, color crayon eraser. Now, I don't think it's going to erase like all this, where I've done all this real dark. But it is kind of erasing some of the little... It's another thing, if you bear down, you get that waxy little, little wax chips popping up. Little waxy bits. If you're just joining us, this is in the Somerset Studio Coloring Studio Issue 3. Alright. Let's get down in here. See, I, got, I can see a lot of little flakes. And that's the, what ma makes you uh, smear things. Let me get those little flakes everywhere. Yeah, hi. Where's my little hay? I got a bunch of hays here from you guys. We got this hay. Hey. We got this hay. You girls cracked me up. <laughs> we got hay. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You're great. I keep those right there because they make me smile. Uh, as does this. This is what Vicki BR sent. Remember? She found all the pin, Pintel Sunburst pins. And she said, I'll send them to you. I'm going to send them to you. Three years later, they all dried out. So she sent me the picture. <laughs> oh, Vicki, Vicki, Vicki. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Oh, down here. <laughs> oh, you, you found the video to show, Carrie. Yeah. Y'all go look at it. It's only 30 seconds long, guys. It's only a 30 second long video. If you just look up on YouTube, the cat that says, hey, instead of meow, you'll see it. And I think there's a couple versions of it, but I just watched the 30 second one. It's real quick. And it's hilarious. I'm telling you. I could watch it over and over, and I have. <laughs> Do you already have cases on society? No, Terry, not yet. I have. I, I haven't put anything on them because I haven't had time. I'm gonna try to do it this uh, by next week, Terry. I'm gonna try. Did you see if they have? Do they have the sevens on there yet, uh, Terry? Do they have a uh, cell phone cases for the seven? Bye, Muse. So, yeah, when you bear down like I'm trying to do on this black, you're leaving little tiny flakes that are easily smeared. So, all right, there we go. All right, let me show you that. And I know it's going to flash my camera out showing you on my phone. But we'll fix it. Okay, so there's what we got so far. I'm still going to, I'm going to take the blue all the way around, or at least, well, I don't know. We'll see how much time we have. It needs to come down to at least here, though. You know, bring the blue background down. All the way down here. We'll do that, too. But. So you can see how we've done so far again she's got some kind of a butterfly thing on her face i don't like the way that i colored that i don't like the way it looks i don't know but that's just me i mean it's not horrible don't get me wrong they do have them oh okay well i'll make sure and, and uh size you know do uh do it for that too because i think you have to put your own sizes in there all right let me see if i can find that book real quick for you guys i only have the cover picture but y'all can go look at it, okay? Um, 
photos, photos. It's back here a ways because my books a million did not have it. I saw it at a, I saw it at a Barnes and Noble a while back, and then books a million did not have it. And um, let me find the picture. It's not too hard to find because it's a yellow cover. I'm sure Terry can find it on Amazon too. Here it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a bright yellow cover. It's going to flash out, but that's a, I mean, that's a lemon lime yellow book. And it's called Lizzie Lee's Create Your Own Collage. That's what it looks like right there. And again, that is a, I mean, that's a like neon yellow, but it's flashing out on my camera. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Get you want one? Okay, Terry. Yeah, they're not too expensive on Society Six has got great prices. I'm I'm not sure of the cut they take. I I might be forty percent because but you don't like I won't have to do anything. I just put the artwork up and Society Six does all the shipping, the making, the printing, the everything. So, you know. So anyway, that's what it is right there. So I'm getting that book. Um, per Kelly. So thank you, Kelly, if you are watching. All right, so let's readjust the lighting here. And uh, I'm going to go run. I can't. I, Hubster is going to be, be so on me. I'm O. I'm O. Go. But see, he hates it when I do that kind of stuff. Okay, let me go grab some coffee and I'll be right back. Ah, coffee. Okay, so we gotta put it way over there. Okay, McCarroll, sleep well down in Oz. Thanks for staying all this time. All right, guys, a few more minutes on this. So this is what we got so far. And again, we could spend more time, you know, shading and shadowing. The moon. And blending. But we spent a couple hours, so, and of course we talk too, so. We do a lot of talking. Okay, his eye. He needs. I need. I am going to take a pen, my sharpie, not a marker, a sharpie pen. There's a difference. And whoops, sorry guys. And black. Nice black eye. Oh, uh, Kelly said it should be in my mailbox. It should be here already. I haven't checked my mail. Y'all want me to go check my mail and see if it's here? Kelly just messaged me. She's watching. If if your mail came today. Let me look out there and see if the flag is up. I think Hubster put some mail in the box. So if the mail came today, I can't see from here because a tree blocks my mailbox. Mm -hmm.
Okay. He has not been around yet. He's running late today. He's been coming about 10, 1030, and it's 1130 now, so probably be here any minute. Oh, everybody's saying hi, Kelly. She's not in chat, guys, but she watches on her phone. So, but everybody's saying hi to you, Kelly, if you're listening. She can't see chat, guys. So, uh, but yeah, everybody's saying hi to you. And now I'm out of breath. I ran to the, uh, I ran to the, uh, what do you call it, mailbox. Okay, it's just repeating my uh, comments there. It, it repeats it twice if you don't answer. Oh, eh, I gotta catch my breath. So, here we go. All right, so let's go down here to the flat. Oh, let's finish this right here, guys. Hang on. Let's just get down here. I'll pick up the right blue because they all look purple. Oh, she said hi to the fibs. She said, hi, Fibs. It's going to repeat if I don't answer. Let's see here. <laughs> yep, she said hi. Hi to the Fibs. No, she's not in chat, guys. She watches on the phone. Okay. Let's see. I'm thinking that might be good enough for me. I mean, we can go all the way around, but I think you get the idea. Um, we're running out of time here. I'll wait and see if the mailman brings... Oh, is that him? I don't know. I hear something out there. I just want to blend this in a little, a little darker around the. I'll check again before we go. Because I think it'll be a fun book to play in. It, even if we don't do exactly what the book says, I think we'll get some good ideas for some more creative art journaling stuff. You know, we throw everything in an art journal around here, guys. Y'all know that. If it can go in an art journal, we'll make one. We'll either make an art journal or, <laughs> or something. I'm speedy. Yeah, Terry Trouble says you rock, Kelly. Terry Trouble says you rock. Okay. Alrighty. I think I'm going to stop at that star. And then up here, I think on this edge, I'll just stop right there, too. So I'll leave that white, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to spend a few minutes working on the... <laughs> yep, I'm using crayons. If y'all are just joining me, I'm just using Crayola crayons. And we're in the... We're in this book, the Coloring Studio, Somerset Studios Coloring Book. And it's more than a coloring book, guys. This is number issue three. It's more than a color book. If y'all have not seen these in person, they have all kinds. Let me just take a second to kind of do a little. And I have it behind another book to prop me up here. It's got all kinds of, of uh, articles, how to color, but it's also got like little write-ups. Um, about the artist it's got questions and answers like what's your favorite tools and then it's got things like like here's the we ask the artist and uh, completed projects we tore that project out <laughs> it's in the book in my uh, color book I mean my notebook but you can see it's got all kinds of other things it's got completed projects and projects you can either do like they did or 
you can um, make your own. So it's not just a solid, full-on color book. It's like a projects. It's like coloring projects, right? And uh, so, yeah, let's go back to our page here. Sorry, guys. It's, I know I'm moving around a lot, and I hope y'all aren't wanting to get dizzy, but, you know. Yeah. All right. Because I, I, when I'm coloring here, guys, you are literally just right there. You're right on my page so that y'all can see really well. Oh, that's how, thanks Rebecca for being here. All right, so now we're going to go down here. And this is part two, by the way. Somehow we got disconnected on part one about 30 minutes in. But I want to do these flowers. Now, I think there's some kind of, I think they're morning glories. So should we go with purple like a lavender? Let's go with morning. Again, let's get all the purples that look exactly alike in the box. Okay, that one and... Okay, we're going to go with a light and a dark purple. I know, um, yeah, if I can tell which one is which now. Okay, so we're going to go with morning glories. Because they have a vine. I'm thinking they're morning glories. I could be wrong. And I'm not sure what the little cusp, the little cup of the morning glory. If it's purple too, I don't remember. So I'm just going to go color the whole thing first, kind of a mid-purple. Just color the whole thing a solid purple. Then we'll go in shade, and then we'll blend. Again, light pressure if you want to blend any of this. We, you know, really bear down on the black. But other than that, you know, maybe some of the little moon things here. If you want to blend, you can't bear down too much because then you won't be able to blend. This book's at your Walmart. Yeah, I've seen this book at uh, around. Uh, if you get it at your bookstore or I don't know that Hobby Lobby has it, but if you can get it, like Hobby Lobby will take coupons for books. Michael's will not. I know Michael sells these books too, but they go fast. Uh, I've seen, you know, one day I'll see them and the next day they're gone. So they sell fast at Michael's. Of course, you can get them at your regular bookstore, Books A Million, um, Barnes & Noble, they all have these. And if you're a member of those, you know, you can at least get a 10% off. If not, you know, wait for a 40% off coupon. All right. Again, I'm not, I'm, I should look up. Let me just look up Morning Glories real quick. Because I'm not sure if that, if that's part of the stem and if it's yellow or green. Let me get over here on Google Images real quick, guys. Morning Glory. Images. All right, let's see. Okay, what it looks like is the the stem comes down into it turns into like a yellow and green. So it kind of and that's just I just took a quick glance. So so it looks like there's a little bit of purple in it, but it's mostly like yellow. So we'll just put a little shade of purple. Those are leaves. This is a bud right here. It looks these look like rose buds, even though they're supposed to be morning glory buds. Where's that one go? Is that part of this one or is that part of this one? It's hard to tell. Oh, that might that's I think no, that's a bud. I think that's a bud there. This is a curled leaf right here. I mean a curled bud right there. Then those rest are leaves, I think. Alright, let's do a, a little bit of green on these on the little I know there's a botanical name for that part of the flower I need to get over to my botanical garden soon because Chihuly the Chihuly exhibits there through October I don't want to miss that I want to get to the Chihuly exhibit all right so I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice light green coat on all the everything else that looks green and we'll go in and shade Hang on, guys. It sounds like there's somebody out there. It's hard to tell because I have to look around the trees. The trees grow up to my block the vision or the view of my street up here. All right. All right. 
I'll just go over here. And again, I'm going to darken up these leaves. I'm just getting a base coat. Are you, oh, whoa, somebody says, Chris, show me your color. It was fun. Okay. <laughs> somebody said it was fun, and it, then it scrolled off the screen. So thanks, guys. Oh, star. Uh oh, Ticonderoga to the rescue. And that, I think, is supposed to be black. Right back from the black comes that black. Yeah. Right there in that corner. There we go. Um, they have a whole violet color when they first open. They have a blue violet color when they first open. Yeah, they are on the blue, purpley blue side. I have a couple, um, you know, darker purple here. And then I'll put a little bit of blue in it, too. Because they, they do have blue in them. Mom used to have morning glories growing up the side of one of the houses where we, we lived, I remember. Of course, Grandma was a gardener. Grandma could grow anything. She would say, no, I can't grow so-and-so, but she, she could if she wanted to. She could grow anything. She had the most beautiful yard. I'm going to have to dig out some pictures of her yard to show you guys. sometime. Mom probably has more pictures of her garden than I do, or her yard, I should say. She, she didn't, I don't remember her, I mean, she, I think she used to, maybe up in Washington, she used to grow maybe vegetables. I just always remember her for her flowers. So, yeah, I keep a picture of her up here. On my on my closet taped. Here's grandma. Here's my grandma. She's been gone about I think mom would tell me exactly how many years, but a few years now. A couple three, four years maybe. <clears throat> I lose track of time. <clears throat> All right, let me get a little blue. Again, I have to figure out which is blue because, you know, <laughs> they're all purple wrappers. So I'm going to go over that purple with the blue now. <clears throat> That looks a little better. So you just have a purple and blue kind of mixed together. What do y'all think? Does that look good for the morning glories? I'll go back over them with another light purple to kind of really blend them in. So let's get some blue on here. Thanks again, everybody, for being here. Hope you all have a good weekend. Don't forget Barb streams at 2 on YouTube. 2 Eastern. I don't see, sometimes she pops in. I don't see her here right now. So. And don't forget Heather now, guys. Bunny Designs, I think, is her name on YouTube and Ustream. She's doing some awesome watercoloring in a color book. And uh, she's working it, though. I mean, it's taken her a long time, guys. She's really doing a nice, you know, those all those books on that Fantique. She started that. She started doing that book. And so, if y'all, you can catch her starting that book. Well, I think she's worked on three shelves. I don't know if she's still here or not. Heather is still here. That when I did your Crayola wrapper page, only eight different colors for. Oh, so they they only have eight colors of. <laughs> yeah, see that's what we were talking about. The wrappers for the blue are all the exact same purple. <laughs> and so anyway, all right. Now let's go ahead and get like a some kind of a like this color here, which is periwinkle. Let's take periwinkle to to blend in, to blend it all out to go over the blue and the purple and just kind of blend. Can y'all see how it's kind of blended? 
I don't want to get it too waxy, but it looks like it might go that way anyway. Because I want the, both the blue and the purple to kind of show through. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the color crayon challenge. I forget who initially challenged us to do it to do this. Somebody either commented on YouTube or here, or maybe a couple of people have said, try coloring with just crayons. And it's been so long, guys, since I've colored with crayons. Probably since Boo was little. You know? Oh, Mom's watching. Oh, Mom. Mom. It was, two, it was, no, it wasn't 2016, was it? No, it wasn't. It's more than a year ago. Okay, Mom, I think you got the wrong year. It wasn't 2016. Mommy, answer me. And she said, Grandpa did all the gar vegetables in the garden in, in Uncle Gary. Okay, Mom, give me the right date. Give me the right year. It was April, but it wasn't 2016. Mom wrote the wrong date in there. But thanks for watching, Mommy. <laughs> Aw, that was so sweet. Thanks, Mom. All right. Mom's going to go, I need a box of crayons. Oh, 2013. Yeah, I thought so. I knew it was a few years. So Grandma passed away th in 2013. So it was three years. I was kind of right. Oh, do I hear the mailman? I think I do. Hang on. I don't want to face plant you. Let's see. I think he went by. I'll check again here in a minute. We'll see if that book came. Thanks, Mom. Okay, so again, let me back up so you can see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Mom's seeing chat or not. She's She'll be on her iPad. All my, uh, everybody <laughs> watches on a different device. Mom, I know Mom watches on the iPad. So now I'm going to go back to the um, Midnight Blue and do a little extra shading. Mom, do you remember when you had morning glories climbing? I still have a picture of me and Jody, I think, standing in front. Standing in front of the morning glories. In front of the house. Yeah, I need to, let me do that real quick while I'm thinking of it, guys. Let me write down the back of her picture, April 2013. So I always forget. So let me get a little picture. Okay, so I always forget the year. Okay, it looks a little dark here, guys, on camera because I keep having to adjust the lighting. All right, let's do those leaves real quick. Let's do, let me get a darker green, like a forest green again. Okay, mom's thing is just repeating, that's all, because I didn't answer. Mm, let's see. Tropical green, rainforest. That might be pretty. Let's test that out. No, it needs to be a little, I think it's a little more on the olive side. When we live, yeah, I remember mom. Mom's telling me the house that we lived in where it had, because that one's not dark enough, where we had the morning glories. Let's see. Forest green. Oh, let's try that. Yeah, because I want it more of an olive, not a bright grass green. You know. Mom, do, you need, do I need to send you a box of crayons? She's probably got them. She teaches um, Sunday school classes and um, so little kids. So she's probably got more crayons than I do. Do you need some new crayons, Mom? <laughs> mm. Okay, there we go. That's better. Could even be a little darker. Right on some veins. Yeah, that's better. Thanks, everybody, again, for stopping in. I appreciate it. 
I will go check my mail real, one more time before we leave to see if that book is here. So if y'all want to maybe do some projects, and I don't know, we'll see. I might look at it and go, I don't know if we can do any of these projects. <laughs> we'll see. But the book looked really awesome uh, when I saw it some time ago. And I said, well, I'll just, I'll wait till it comes in to my books a million. And then Kelly bought it for me. So we'll, we'll do something out of it. All right, so let's go down here. Mom says, got lots of crayons. <laughs> I figured, Mom. But you know, you're never too old to have a new box of crayons. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> okay, I need one more darker shade of green just for a little extra shadow. All right, let's see here. What color is that one? That's not one. Get up here and see because they all have that different asparagus. That's more of an olivey color, not dark enough. I almost need the darkest. Maybe I do need the forest green. What is it? What was it? Tropical rainforest. Hmm. It's a little on the grass green side, but it's real, it's covering nicely. It's giving us a nice extra shadow in there. Thanks for watching, Mom. I'll have to call you and check on y'all. I try to call her at least once a week, or she'll call me. She and Denise are like this. They text each other all the time. Mom had her come out and visit, her and Boo. They laugh at the same things. Okay, so I think we're going to stop, guys. And uh, Mom goes, you're welcome. <laughs> See, the, my Ticonderoga eraser is almost gone on this pencil. And that star, I really messed up a big black blob on there. Not that it matters that much, but where's my black? Is that? There it is. Alrighty, so there we go, guys. I think it needs a little bit more of the blue, the midnight blue shading, you know, around here and stuff. It needs a little bit more feathering out and stuff here. I don't really want to go over here. I, I kind of like that dramatic overhang, so I think I just want to stop at this point. So, let me go run down and see if my mail's been here. Then we'll go ahead and save this video. I'll go ahead and post a picture of it. I'll post a picture on it of it for um, Somerset Studio. They have, a, they have a Twitter account. You can link their account if you do anything out of their books so they can see what you've done. So, all I'll do before I post it is kind of do some more shading around the edges here. But I'm kind of liking it. The only thing I didn't like was how the words, I should have probably thought, rethought that before going over the words with the blue, even though I barely put any pressure on it. And you can still read it, but not, the, not that well. I probably should have done that all yellow too, so that it would have, I don't know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I like it. I like it. I hope y'all do too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, let me get down and check my mail. It may, may or may not be here. If not, then. But I kind of want to show you that book if it's here. So let me let me go run down. Let's not face plant. And I'll be right back. I'll take mom with me. <laughs>
Okay, guys, sorry. He hasn't been around yet. So we'll have to just show that next week. So y'all can have something to look forward to on Monday. Um, the book comes today or tomorrow. Then we will do something out of it on Monday. How about that? So, huh, catch my breath. Right out to the curb and back. So, I'll post a picture of it. Here's all the colors we used. And again, we just used the 64 Crayola bonus. This is from, I don't know, guys, I'm serious. This is at least five years old. <laughs> so, hope you'll enjoy that. Oh, talking about glitter crayons? Ooh. I think I would just stickle. I'd just stickle. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. And uh, again, if you're watching the recording, this is part two. We had about 30 minute part one uh, before we got disconnected. And so we just started another part. So we got about three hours in. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Do something creative. Post it on Twitter. Share with everybody. I know y'all do. Most of y'all. And looking around, see if there's anything else you need to talk about. I guess not. So we will see you later. Bye. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Bye, guys.